And there was a cheer as we heard the explosion and a captain reported from the periscope seeing it because we had done what our government tasked us to do and we were very professional about it. Followed almost instantaneously with absolute silence and as everyone had their own thoughts thinking there were over a thousand sailors on board the Belgrano and they were doing what their government tasked them to do. It's 40 years since Vice Admiral Sir Tim McClement was a young Lieutenant Commander in the Royal Navy, second in command of the submarine HMS Conqueror, as it shadowed and then fired on the Argentinian cruiser General Belgrano. It was one of the most controversial episodes in the Falklands War, with claims that Belgrano was sailing away from a 200-mile UK-imposed exclusion zone around the islands. But Prime Minister Margaret Thatcher agreed with her senior military commanders that the Belgrano posed a direct threat to the Royal Navy Task Force heading for the South Atlantic. Um, Admiral Woodward had two carriers and not very many Harriers, and the Argentinians had uh, over 200 aircraft, so we had to protect our carriers, because if we lost one, then that would be the end of our ability to retake the islands. And at the time, On the beginning of May, Admiral Woodward believed there was a pincer movement with the Argentinian aircraft carrier to the northwest of the islands, coming with his escorting destroyers, and to the southwest of the islands, the Belgrano group with two two destroyers as well. The Belgrano, which began life as the American light cruiser USS Phoenix, had survived Japan's attack on Pearl Harbor, only to succumb to two Royal Navy torpedoes. 323 Argentinians died on board the Belgrano. This notorious Sun headline at the time was later toned down as the extent of the loss of life became apparent. It was the big turning point. They knew from that moment, I remember being told, I was with the troops in the Canberra at the time that this had happened. And uh, within two days, of course, the Sheffield was uh, sunk. And everybody in charge knew there was going to be a real war. Whatever talks might or might not happen, there was going to be a real war. And they realised there were still going to be problems, big problems. Safeguarding the Royal Navy Task Force was at the heart of the decision to sink the Belgrano. Vice Admiral McClement says the actions of those on board HMS Conqueror were fully justified. One regrets loss of life in war. Galtieri had invaded the islands, he needed to be evicted and you use brutal force to try and shorten the war as quickly as possible so that you succeed. The Belgrano was a threat, needed to be taken out and we did it. There's no doubt this sinking of the Belgrano was a decisive moment in the Falklands conflict as the Argentinian Navy retreated to port and played no further part in the war. Mark White, GB News.